It has been a three years since Amber Heard alleged domestic violence and physical and emotional abuse during her marriage to Johnny Depp without naming him in an explosive Washington Post op-ed. But now, alleged emails between the Aquaman actress and the staff at nonprofit organization ACLU suggest that Heard might not have penned the op-ed by herself. Heard accidentally owns herself, proving Depp was right. LOL. In emails exclusively obtained by Daily Mail, an ACLU staffer identified as Robin Schulman can be seen telling her they hope it sounds true to you, allegedly about the op-ed. The essay on Heard's personal encounter with abusive relationships went on to become the focal point on Dapp's lost libel battle against The Sun, which called him a wife-beater. Depp also filed a subsequent defamation case against Heard for alleging he abused her and is now endeavoring to prove that her entire claim was fabricated. After Aja of Heard admitting to abusing Depp and taunting him that no one will believe him resurfaced, several women have also allegedly come forward claiming that Heard's personal essay detailing her abuse was that bit similar to their own stories of assault. But Depp's team is now claiming Heard's self-proclaimed $7 million donation to Children's Hospital LA and the ACLU, which she was to make with her divorce settlement, never happened. Depp is currently suing the ACLU to show records of Heard's donation to find out whether she actually gave the money or her billionaire ex Elon Musk did. This comes after the Children's Hospital claimed that they never got their promised funds from Heard's end and ACLU repeatedly refused to cooperate with subpoenas to show for Heard's supposed $3.5 million donation to them. Uncovered emails from the same investigation obtained by Daily Mail is proving to be quite incriminating for Heard's innocence in the case. After the ACLU appointed the actress as an ambassador on women's right in 2018, one of their staffers was hit by the idea of having Heard write an essay from the perspective of a gender-based violence to hit back at new laws working against the protection of victims. If she feels comfortable, she can interview her personal story saying how painful it is as a GBV survivor to witness these setbacks, ACLU can be seen mailing her steam, following it up with would this be of interest and if so, would you like for us to do the first draft? Might include a quick phone interview to get our thoughts or would Amber prefer to start it off? The final output went on to be entitled, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. But if emails obtained by Daily Mail are legitimate, it was ACLU staffer Robin Schulman who penned the thing to capture Hood's fire and rage, in which he hoped sounds true to you, as written in an email to the actress. The essay then suffered the back and forth exchange as lawyers ensured Hood wasn't violating her NDA signed after divorcing Depp. Ultimately, Heard wrote back, Everyone was very impressed. Thank you for finding my voice. Heard has also addressed allegations of her negligible input and the op-ed, noting in her legal filings that she wrote it with the assistance and advice of others, adding that the op-ed speaks for itself and does not leave her incriminated. Depp's lawyer Adam Waldman, however, believes otherwise. This new trove of emails finally proves one of the things the ACLU has fought for years to hide. They wrote Amber Heard's false op-ed for her and were co-conspirators with Ms. Heard from the start, he told the outlet, suggesting further legal action against ACLU. Those who scheme, write, and publish defamation, even perpetrated free speech advocates, are not immune from the consequences, he shared. Johnny Depp has now moved to court to order ACLU, also known as American Civil Liberties Union, to show proof of Amber Heard's donation from her divorce settlement. It has been known that Heard had pledged to donate her $7 million US dollars divorce settlement to the ACLU and the Children's Hospital Los Angeles after her and Depp's divorce was made final. Previously, the mention of Heard's divorce settlement money had come up during Depp's UK libel case where he claimed his ex-wife hadn't donated the sum. Previously, during the UK libel case, Heard's lawyer had presented documents relating to her divorce settlement donation, which show the Ackerman star had gifted a total of $950,000 US dollars to the ACLU and $850,000 US dollars to the Children's Hospital through anonymous donors as reported by People. After losing the libel case against a UK tabloid, 
Depp and Heard will once again face each other in court next year for the defamation case filed by the Pirates of the Caribbean actor against his ex-wife. It has been reported that Depp believes Amber's charitable deeds have worked in her favor during the previous court hearing. The actor has been hopeful of proving otherwise during the defamation case. Depp and Heard were married for a year and settled their divorce out of court in August 2016. News about popular movies usually comes with a certain amount of fanfare. When the cast or crew of blockbuster franchises share updates, it generates buzz, excitement, and anticipation. But a recent announcement from the director of Warner Brothers DC, Extended Universe DCEU film, Aquaman sees fans calling for one of its actors to be fired. It seems some fans still want actress Amber Heard, who stars as the superhero Mira alongside Jason Momoa's titular character, to be released from the DC production in the wake of hers and ex-husband Johnny Depp's ongoing legal battle. Aquaman opened in cinemas in 2018 and became a surprising box office hit. The DC film released in the aftermath of the franchise's mixed response to its previous movies. Aquaman followed on from Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman 2017 in terms of success, with both proving the DCEU wasn't completely redundant, Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice 2016, Suicide Squad 2016, and Joss Whedon's Justice League 2017, received negative to lukewarm responses. Aquaman, in fact, went on to score over $1 billion at the worldwide box office. The ocean-centered movie saw Momoa reprise with Justice League role as Arthur Curry or Aquaman, with Heard returning as Mira. The cast featured a slate of Hollywood talent such as Nicole Kidman as Atlanta, Willem Dafoe as Nudis Vulco, and Patrick Wilson as Orm Marius. The sequel was confirmed in January 2019 and up until now. The title of the follow-up movie was not yet announced. When it comes to Aquaman, it is director James Wan who is once again back at the helm of the aquatic superhero movie. And just last night, he shared an Instagram photo revealing the long-awaited title of the next feature film, along with an ominous message. From Wan's image, it is revealed that Aquaman 2 will be called Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom. While this news should be exciting, many fans think Warner Brothers should address their relationship with Heard following the core controversy calling the movie studio to fire Amber Heard, hashtag that has continued to trend off and on. The sentiments towards Heard came from the events of hers and Depp's highly publicized legal battle. The two married in 2015 with Heard, filing for divorce a year later. Heard also filed for a restraining order on the Pirates of the Caribbean actor, allegedly due to incidents of domestic abuse throughout their relationship.